Okay, and here we are. Right. We're back on Seven Days to Die. Um, this is another playthrough I have. Um, oh, on this one I have cheat mode activated, obviously, look, so I can fly around. But the pur purpose of this build was to build something um, in preparation for some ideas for Alpha 16, where we get some defensive turrets and more stuff like that. Started off with a suburban house like this one over here. As you can see, the remnants of the garden. It now looks like this. Okay. Now, the whole point of this build is freedom of access. I need to remove all of this around back here so that there's the zombies on the Horde Knight can run straight in here, straight down, and there's some barbed wire is the only really deployable defense I've put down, and that's to slow them down because they run. And the way that they get killed is these pods are accessible from up next floor up. I'll show you that. There's four pods, one in each corner. Now, for the way the build is now, we can access the pods and shoot from them, um, but hopefully what I'm intending for this build and similar build to this in 16 is having maybe flamethrowers on this side pointing in on each of the pods so this becomes an area of slowing them down and on the outside maybe auto turrets and maybe the carving blades down in there so this is just a carving shop basically but the way now that they are killed is from the killing floor which is up there so I'm going to show you how up on the killing floor there's only one way in um, which is through the drawbridge. There's a bit of a ball ache if you're on the other side, but you know what? End of the day, one way in, one way out. Better defensively, really. So this is the killing floor, and there's the barbed wire down there. And this allows me to shoot through, and... Basically, there's nothing killing the, killing the zombies at the moment. So there's no spikes, there's nothing like that. So I get all the XP which is really good for the grind. Sorry, I had to adjust my chair. Um, the killing floor is all it is. This is access to the pods. And then out here, we have access to the walkway, which also acts as an anti-spider um, blocker, so the spiders can't crawl up and in. But if some of them do get stuck on the outside, we can walk around and deal with them there. Um, the only other thing on this floor is my spawn point, which I haven't finished. This is going to be a room. I'm going to make it look nice. So, let's go up this stairway. We've got to the crafting floor now. Um, that's ammunition and armory in there. General crafting and some storage for gun parts, etc. Chemistry and cooking in there. General smelting in here for steel, iron, bars, all this trussing, etc, etc. Although I have it on um, cheat mode activated, I've only cheated for the resources, to be fair, because I wanted, didn't want to have to spend ages and ages and ages gathering all the resources, so I nicked the load from the creative mode so that I can get this built in time for the Horde Nights that were coming up, etc. As you notice, we're coming up to Horde Night on the 21st night, so I'm going to keep that one ready, and then, um, yeah, so this is just the story. And we're going to show you how the Horde Knight works in a bit when it gets there. This is um, cement, con concrete production. So we need to get some more stone for this, because they are no longer smelting stone, which is not a good thing, because I need more concrete for everything. Must have concrete. The concrete is a process in itself. Um, you need a ton of stone. First process, crushed sand. You can either dig that up, which is quite difficult to think. I don't know if you can actually dig crushed sand, but I know you can dig sand. But anyway, I make it by putting stone into one of these, crushing it up, blah, blah, gets the crushed down. Next process is melting some stone down to make the cement powder. I have two furnaces going because it's quite a slow process. And then the final process is actually making the concrete mix, which is here, which is one sand, two stone, and one cement. So four lots of stone go into making one one lot of concrete. So that's why I cheated to get all of this lot. And it's not that hard to dig, it only takes a few, you know, few cycles to do, but at the end of the day I didn't want that. Before this build I wanted to test out the build and everything like that, so there you are. Okay, so it's time for me to get ready for the horde. Let's 
door. Is that... Can you hear? Hmm. Right, let's go in here. I thought I heard the screamers. Because I have all these furnaces, all these forges up here, the screamers are ridiculous. Yep, there is one. I have to go and deal with her. Her because otherwise she's going to summon more in than I need. I need a bit of time to prep myself for Horde Knight. So I'm going to prep for Horde Knight. This is the um, killing floor base and, and I'll be back. If you give me just uh, a couple of minutes. It will be almost okay. okay. We are back, and it is 2100. We have one in-game hour until the Horde Night. Um, I want to show you... i got last bit of preparation going here, sorry. Um, don't obviously won't be needing the tools until afterwards. Uh, we've got... Uh, 515 rounds for Magnum, 1,000 rounds for the AK. And all of our bits and pieces, just in case we get hurt, infected, or whatever. The thing with this build is they can't get to me. They have to smash through a lot of steel and a lot of concrete to get to me. Um, these iron bars, they do take damage when hit, but they can't hit upwards. So the only ones that can hit up is the coppers, um, but the puke doesn't penetrate through the bars. So... I'm not sure whether the puke actually damages the bars, but it's only some forged steel to repair it. So, uh, forged iron, forgive me, um, to repair it. So here we are on the killing floor. Time is ticking away. Let's go and have a look outside so you can see that beautiful blood moon. Look at this. It's such, It's so ominous. I mean, I played through quite a few times now on the server. Played through. I must have sat through quite a few horde nights, but still... That blood red sky. It still wakes my winky twitch. It's uh Yeah, and any time now the thunderstorm's gonna start. Oh look at that. It's usually around half past nine it starts, so let's go out this way it'll be less less of a problem to defend if they do come up. Cause the last thing we need right now is a screamer. A screamer in the mix would be a nightmare. Well, it wouldn't be, again, I mean, I don't know the limitations of this build. I've had st horde knights in here where I'm not, I don't get touched, basically. Um, I can access every part, I can fire into every corner near enough. Um, if they get stuck underneath, forgive me, there's a message. Um, yeah. So, unless they get stuck under here, but then I can just jump down into the pod and then kill them. If they're crawlers stuck down in here, they've got all that steel and everything like that, and I can leave them to the last minute. So, get ready. Here we go. <coughs> Day 21, Horde Night. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry throat. And... Ominous music. I might turn down the music, actually, real quick, because... The music... Music is turned right down like That's good. Okay. The music on Horde Nights is a bit dramatic. Here we go. Oh great, Screamer straight off the bat, really? Right, she's down. And stay down. Here they come. See, the barbed wire is slowing them down. There's a copper. Is that a copper? No. I'll just spread them out a little bit. Because I want the loops. I'm trying to get them onto the bar one. Oh, there's a soldier guy, he's down. 
he walks straight into an AK round. Oh, look, Feral. Hello, Feral. Come on, on to the barbed wire. I think I might need to take out that lip there and bring this whole, like, another layer of wire. There, I mean. there might be a slight problem with having that second drop down there because they're not all going onto the wire. Yeah, that's the barrel's down. This AK was actually found on a soldier, so about that. You might I always put my scavenging seals high straight away and get the uh, quality eddy up as well. So that my loot's always good. There you go, you can't get up, but see? Most of the damage to the concrete being done by me. So let's just switch to this for a little bit. Do like my magnum. An hour in, and uh, yeah, it's coming thick and fast. But we could take our time, we don't need to panic, there's no need for. Uh there we go. There you go, see? The only thing that will get through these bars is when he explodes, but I'm high enough up, so. That's not an issue. You still got one crawling through there, damaging all my bodies. I don't want to doing that. It's quite irritating when you're moving every time I try and shoot you, one. I think she's protected by the bodies on top of her. Right. I was saying this AK I actually did loot. Um, I found a better barrel for it in the uh, shotgun beside gun shell. So yeah, and um, obviously the, you all know the uh, schematics drop like crazy anyway. So This is really good for XP, I mean, I'm, I'm gaining crap loads of XP from these guys because nothing is actually damaging them. I think they've actually killed my barbed wire down there, to be honest. But, uh, I'll check that out later. I mean, if it is, it's a very cheap repair. So it's, it's ongoing costs, a little bit of concrete to repair the concrete. A little bit of barbed wire. It's not like so, I mean, I've seen a lot of very, very cool bases on YouTube videos, and um, <coughs> yeah, the, 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 the guys have steel spikes and all this. And I'm thinking to myself, that's brilliant, but the repair costs, you know, the upkeep costs must be quite through, you know, quite high. I know when you get to a certain level um, in this game, resources are not really that much of an issue. Just for my own peace of mind, knowing that all i got to do is chuck up a bit of concrete, chuck up a bit of barbed wire. And I've got my base repaired. 
And the concrete is just some stone, barbed wire is just some iron. It's, it's very, it's very simple. Yeah, it's simple. I heard someone getting on that for a second there. Well, the really annoying thing about this game, I love this game completely. It's one of my favourite games I've ever played, to be honest. But one of the really annoying things is this, with the bodies that pop. No, I get that you need to pop them and everything. Um, but when they pop, you lose all the loot. And on a horde night, the amount of loot I'm probably losing down there is ridiculous. But then, hey, you know, so be it. It's not as if it's game breaking, is it? You still get quite a lot of loot at the end of the night. So. But I'm greedy. I am a very, very greedy man. Don't blow up! Don't blow up! There you go. Now, as you can see, I mean, I can leave them down and make a nice little pile wherever I want. Just bring them down here a bit. Get off my tower. Attacking on the pillars. Like now. Those pillars have stupid amounts of hit points anyway. And eventually I'm going to go to the... I know how cheap mode on, but I'm going to play most of it legit, apart from building this place. Um, eventually I'm going to go to the traders and buy some of the proper reinforcements of steel. But that costs a lot, so... Okay. Five past one. Oh, hello, doggy. Goodbye, doggy. Okay, we need to repair on this. Let's see what level it goes down to. Oh, 495. Okay. Okay, not bad. My pistol skills are quite high, so using the magnum is pretty much lethal. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Hey, you go. Ah, putrid girl. Did I only hit you? Oh, I'm so sorry for dragging out your... Uh, Torturing you, so. Oh, this little derpy thing, come on. There we are. <coughs> right, there you go, I've hit level 96. Where are you going? Come on. Sometimes it's difficult to see through the bars and time it a little bit. That's one drawback of this design, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm safe. They're dead. Again. And I'm not. I mean, does this even count as murder or something? There was a more disgusting version of that question. Um, I was talking about zombies and zombie games with a friend. Uh, yeah. I'm probably not going to tell you. Yeah, well, I will. Anyway, <coughs> so is it murder to kill a zombie? Well, maybe not because they're already dead. Is it necrophilia? No, I'm not going to stop there. It's, it is kind of wrong. You know. Well, I'm still hunted and it's two o'clock. 
I think one of them's stuck somewhere. I can hear him jumping up and down. Hey, future girl. Oh. There is definitely one stuck somewhere. Really? Of all that area. See that the, the tracking on these guys is a little bit of a pain in the balls because you can't consider everything. And I, I try to block. I had to block in the swimming pool out there because they were getting stuck in it. I'm going to have to try and remove all the back of the garden area now. I'm going to knock that little well down. There's one well, which is one freaking one couple of squares wide in the whole of that area. Yeah? And they run in there and can't get out. Stupid zombies. Mind you, if they were smart zombies, then I'd be in trouble. No, I think we all would. Stop spinning. This is one hell of a clean-up job to do. I would like a way... Now, I can make it so that the loot falls through the floor. That's not a problem. I would like the loot to stay around. So that what I could do is have a floor that... See, there one popped, right? Now, the loot's gone for that one. And it's, it's a little bit irritating, because what if it was good loot? Um, we've seen mini bike frames drop on one guy on a horde night, and there ain't no way in hell I'm going down there to pick it up. You know what I mean? So, there goes another one. And there's some more loot. What is that? Oh, that's a recipe of some sort. Book, yeah. So, that's gone. But what I would like is to, just the loot to stick around. Yeah, give it a f uh, maybe an in-game day. And then it despawns. So you could have a floor for this kind of build where you could kill everything quite easily and have a build where you could put the pillars, maybe the 50 pillars... Um, all the way across in lines everything comes in gets killed their bodies can pop as much as they like and there'll be a room downstairs just to collect loot and you can go down there and loot to your heart's content after Horde Night that's not such a bad idea and I mean I don't know what that would do for performance I'm not very good with computers but maybe we could I mean you could do it so it's only on Horde Nights that happens I don't know I'm not a programmer I don't know but I'm a gamer and be honest, I really like my loot, so it'd be nice if we had to keep that. Now, this is kind of disappointing after one o'clock, wasn't it? It's not really. They came hell for lever at me till about half past one, and now it's only the odd one or two, so. Hmm. Well. There you go, that was the killing floor build. Um, somehow I've sustained damage over there. I'm going to go back to my repair and looting build. Um, I think that's it, Horde Night's pretty much over. At 4am it's going to go back to them walking and the Horde, I don't know. So, okay, so I apologise. <coughs> If you notice the skipping time, what happened is I accidentally alt-tab, which, because I'm using a crappy Xbox DVDR, whatever it's called, recording, because I've yet to set up my proper recording equipment with my computer, um, when you alt-tab, apparently that ends a recording. So, there we go. Lesson learned. So, here we are at the end of the Horde Night, and let's assess some of the damage. Uh, it's not... You know, there's a few knocks and bangs here and there. 
But yeah, most of it's probably where I've been shooting. What was that? Oh, a military vest. I think I'm going to wear that. Right, so... Let's assess some of this damage. We'll try and get down to the um, barbed wire level. I could just walk over the bodies, but, you know... Do what those were. I think they were quest. So yeah, they did smash out some of the They did smash out some of my barbed wire. Four pieces of it down. And that's probably again, to be honest, I don't know if it would have been them smashing it out or me shooting badly as I do. Well. I shoot badly through those bars, because although you can shoot through them, it is a little bit difficult to aim sometimes, especially when they're running and moving, but it doesn't... Oh, really? All that space, and you could have gone, and you went into the barbed wire, you complete bellend. So, yeah, um, as you can see, I've got all this loot. I've gained about four level, three or four levels, I can't remember how many it was. Um, Loads of experience on my rifles, which is what I'm working on to get leveled up because I want to get the sniper rifle. Um, I love the hunter rifle for the long range kills, but something about the sniper rifle just makes me go tingly. So, <coughs> yeah, we're here now. Oh. I want to destroy that before... what's that? An iron shovel? Ah, uh, we'll scrap that. Okay, so we are at loot limit now. Oh. Old shamrock sandwich. Yeah, so most of the damage done, really, was my poor shooting from up there. And if you look at the damage on the block, they're only taken off a... F let's have a look. Let's have a look at one of the worst damage ones. Probably one of these, because that's most of the way. <laughs> there you go. All that shooting into them, and less than 50 damage. Less than 50 points damage all the way around. No, not even 50. So, a couple of hundred, um, if that, concrete. Fully repaired. Go round, knock, knock, knock. Could even just leave it. And give it a couple of horde nights before you repair it. Because you can't, you know, <coughs> you can repair quite quickly, quite easily, with very small amount of resources. And to be honest, I think repairing 50 damage is probably going to be just as easy as repairing a couple of hundred. Same amount of resources. I don't know whether it's that specific. So, yeah. All in all, really successful trial. Um, we're going to scrap that. Oh, damn, what was all these? That's my shovel. Um, so there you have it. This is the killing floor build. Um, it's on. It's just basically ripping open. I need to do some work out the back to make sure they don't get stuck up. But damn, worked really, really well. Obviously, I need to work the floors in there. And if we had the Alpha 16 build with the chopping floor down there, so all those would be, you know. Um, Two center, the two center strips there could be the spinning blades or what have you, or a one strip, one blade, one strip of spinning blade. With us firing down, it's going to kill them quickly and give us the um, XP. Now, I saw the video that um, Joel put up. Is it Joel? I think his name. The, the one of the developers on YouTube and the zombies were dropping backpacks rather than these crappy. Um, fiber bags looking things um, the fiber bags disappear in seconds now if they are genuinely dropping backpacks and that's not some kind of graphic space uh, placeholder or something those backpacks probably won't decay so I could put my floor that I was talking about earlier with the bars and have a room down below so that the killing blade you know shooting down take your um, XP 
Killing blades do most of the work. You get XP and do the killing. All the loot drops into a room below. After the thing, it's not going to despawn. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to leave you there. And thank you very much indeed. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Ta-da!